Leroy Chow knows more than a little about flying in space. It's a whole lot different than keeping your feet planted firmly on the ground. Uh, just the weightless environment, you know, the, you immediately feel full-headed when you get up into space because there's no longer gravity pulling fluid down into your lower extremities. As a NASA astronaut, Chow flew three space shuttle missions. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour in pursuit of a Japanese satellite. He's now controlling. He spent 36 hours walking in space. Endeavour Houston for EV. Leroy, we see you coming out. Ah, oh, Dan, look at the look at the Earth there. Take a look over the sail if you can. Oh my goodness. From 2004 to 2005, he commanded the International Space Station for six months. There was continual maintenance and upgrades. Chinese astronauts visiting their new station will deal with it too. Chow was concerned that because China has not launched a mission with astronauts since 2016, the learning curve could be steep. So their capabilities, operational capabilities, are, are not nearly as developed as ours, and uh, they've got a long ways to go, and by not flying for so many years, they're not moving the ball forward for themselves. So they're gonna have a big challenge once they do get their space station elements up of ramping up quickly to be able to support those kinds of operations when they haven't exercised their teams in so long. Exercising the body will be critical too. Every astronaut who ever flew a long duration mission has done it. Why? Space is not kind to the human body. Strange, sometimes debilitating maladies can occur. Over 70% of astronauts that fly these long duration flights have come back with some changes to their eyes. Some of them have come back with permanent eye damage and it's really not well understood. We actually do ultrasounds of our eyeballs, and that's in order to see how our eyeballs are changing, what's going on with the optic nerves. If Chinese astronauts develop this, there might be some backdoor note sharing between NASA and Chinese doctors, but not much else. The chilly relationship between the two nations has left space cooperation in tatters. A huge disappointment, says Chow. And unfortunately, when I left NASA at the end of 2005, I thought that in 10 years, certainly things were going to be better, and, and they're actually worse. They're actually much worse. For now, both countries are going their separate ways, but it's not a space race. The U.S. program remains, says Chow, far more advanced, and China has a lot of catching up to do. For CGTN, I'm John Zarella, Cape Canaveral, Florida.